Later today, after the payroll tax cut extension is finally wrapped up in Congress, President Obama flies to Hawaii for a Christmas break that was supposed to start a week ago. His wife and daughters are already there, and so is national correspondent Chip Reed, who joins us from one of the great assignments in all of <laughs> yes, broadcast tough. journalism, covering a vacation in Honolulu. Good morning, Chip. Well, good morning, Jim and Rebecca. As you can see, it's a bit dark here on Waikiki right now. But when there are people on this beach, most of them do know the president is coming here and they know his vacation has been delayed. But good luck finding anyone who knows why. If you're lucky enough to spend the holidays soaking up the sun and playing in the surf in Hawaii, you're probably not spending a lot of time following politics. Just ask Kai the surfer dude from San Diego. Have you been paying any attention to this mess going on back in Washington? No, not at all. I could care less, to be completely honest. <laughs> I'm just here on vacation, surf, have a good time, party it up. That's about it. <laughs> so if I told you that what they're fighting over is a payroll tax cut, you would say... So? <laughs> 72-year-old Billy Pa still finds time to surf every day, but politics? Not too much. No. I don't like to get into politics. No, why not? I'm not a politician. <laughs> I'm a surfer. <laughs> Maybe the Bell family from Oregon is paying attention. Do you have a clue what this mess is in Washington? Well, Which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about the one that's delaying the president's vacation? Oh, you're talking about the, um, the tax thing. That's right, the tax thing, which got some interest from boat hand Alika Salingsang. If I asked you what a payroll tax cut is, you would say? A payroll tax cut ain't sounding too good for me. That's what I got to tell you that much. <laughs> It actually is pretty good for you. Is it, is it yeah. awesome then? Bring it on. <laughs> Finally, two vacationers from Canada who are keeping a close eye on Washington. Oh, I'm paying attention. You are, more I than am. most of the Americans here. I am paying attention to most of the Americans because whatever happens in the States is what is happening in our world economy. So if we're not paying attention about what's happening in the States, we're in trouble, all of us. The First Lady and daughters Sasha and Malia are already here, and they are hoping the President will be here in time for Christmas Eve. Jim and Rebecca, back to you. I guess the trade-off for spending a week in Hawaii is having to get up a little early now and again. Yes. Exactly. Poor Chip. He had to wake up so early. I hope the humidity is oh, not too poor bad. poor Chip. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Thanks, Chip. Thank you, dude.